Hey tea squad was good welcome to the tea world every great man has a story to tell it is just as behind every glory there's a story and sia colisi just opened up about it in his new book that he has just released believe it or not sia colisi used to be a binge drinker an actual junkard and that's not a story we would have been able to tell on our own because he never did it in our eyes but his wife went through it all Sia says he would drink at any given time he was free and that meant more time with the boys and very little time with his wife. Whenever I had time off, I just drank. I was bored and feeling sorry for myself. There were other guys around in the same boat who were always happy to hang out and it was all too easy for me to hit the bars and pubs and be a good time guy. He wrote in an extract published by the Sunday Times, Rachel, my wife had come out with baby Nick and this would have been the perfect opportunity to spend time with them but no i prefer to be out with the boys it was an awful time for her and i was just too selfish to realize in the end rachel got fed up with me being a jerk and flew home a week early a few weeks after the world cup had ended and we were back home i was lying on the grass on a sunday morning as hungover as it's possible to imagine my eyes were bloodshot and i stank of alcohol this is how you look when you've been bad, Lipelo. The sister whom I had adopted said she was six at the time, the perfect age for a child to tell you a home truth without even realizing that they are doing so. Rachel had had enough. If it had been an isolated incident, that would have been one thing, but it wasn't. It could have been the week before or the week before that or the week before that week. We're going to church, she said. She always went to church on Sunday. See you later, I grunted. We, she said. We are going to church. That means you too. She was right and I knew it. The trajectory of my life was bad. I had to stop behaving like this or else I'd lose my family. It wasn't stop drinking because drinking would have been fine. If I had just had a couple of beers and stopped then, it was stop drinking until you're obliterated each and every time. Because that's what I was. Whenever I opened a drink, it was as if there was a message at the bottom of the bottle saying, drink me, keep going, keep on going i'd binge and not remember what had happened the night before he said it's not necessarily a message of stop drinking but set your priorities right whatever happening in life always remember that if you were to lose your legs your mobility help and safety would be home what i'm trying to say is always be kind to what keeps you warm at night or give you a shoulder to cry on when the days are darker much darker that friends cannot see or help go get sia colisi's book it's available on take a lot too well that's it for now for more tea do stay tuned as we're gonna keep on spilling remember the tea world loves you